Hey everybody, it's Jocelyn. Today I'm showing you this uh, two things. One, a hair mask. Two, a face mask. So first I already made the hair mask, which is this. See this white thing? I'm not doing anything perverted. But right here, all this white goodness. <laughs> oh my god, okay. <laughs> anyways, anyways. Oh my god, I just messed up. Okay, but this is basically, um... Egg whites, yeah. So first what you do is you break an egg and you only divide it so you get the egg white and then you use your fork and mix it around until the egg white gets all foamy. After that, you're gonna put some coconut cream or coconut milk. Right here I'm using some coconut milk, uh, it's coconut cream, so it can be thicker. To me, coconut milk will be too thin and it'll just glide off and drip off my hair. So that's why I'm using coconut cream. You can get this from any Asian supermarket, like Ranch 99 or Lions Market. Okay, and I also put like a teaspoon of olive oil in here. So if you want, you can add some um, avocado, but I personally like coconut cream better than avocado. So well, you guys are wondering, what did I do with the egg yolk? So I just put this in a little bowl and I mix it around and that would be our facial mask. So let's get started on our hair mask. So first thing you do, make sure your hair is all combed. And right now I'm just wearing a shirt that I don't mind getting dirty because you know it's going to be all over your hair and dripped on your shirt. You don't want that to happen. So don't wear a nice shirt, just wear like a shirt you don't mind getting dirty. So I just grabbed some of this. I apply it on the bottom of my hair or the ends of my hair first and I work my way up. So what the olive oil do it does in the hair mask is it hydrates your hair if for the damages and if it's all dried up like mine. So it helps repair your damaged ends. And the um, coconut milk, it just moisturizes and it protects and like seals in your broken hair strands ends <laughs> and what the um, egg white does is it, is it closes it and it protects it also and it's very hydrating to your hair so it's just gonna get this slap it all on my hair like this yeah don't worry it smells kind of good like the coconut cream if you don't like coconut um sucks for you I guess you can use avocado but yeah, if you're allergic to any of these ingredients, make sure you do not do this. So I'll repeat the ingredients one more time. There's coconut cream, there's egg whites, and there's olive oil. You can do extra virgin olive oil, that will be good too. But here I'm just using regular olive oil. I wouldn't recommend any other oil except olive oil, because olive oil is the best one for your hair or even for your face. So it's just going to apply this evenly throughout my hair. If you have really oily hair, then you might, you guys might think, oh, olive oil, ew, I don't want some oil on my hair. Olive oil is not like regular oil. It actually helps moisturize your dry ends. But if your hair is super oily, I wouldn't recommend putting this hair mask on top of your hair. Um, just put it in the ends and a little on the top. So just like this. Apply this all over my hair. Remember, pay attention to the ends because that's where the most damages are. Here we go. Some people use a lot of product on their hair. That's why it's so damaged. I just dropped my fork. But that's how good. So after you're you're done, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna once again comb it evenly throughout your hair. Like this, you're gonna bring it up. Just gonna tie it into like a quick bun or ponytail. I'm just gonna tie it into a quick, really messy bun. It doesn't matter, it's not like you go out like this with coconut stuff in your hair and olive oil and egg whites. So, after you tie it into a bun just like this, you're gonna get your little shower cap, or if you use just use like um, those plastic wraps or just a regular plastic bag. And you're just going to put this over your head, like so, so it can trap all the heat and moisture into your hair. Okay. And I'm going to wash my hands. So after I'm done with that, with the hair mask, 
Um, you're gonna leave it in your hair mask as long as you can. I would recommend at least 20 minutes. I usually leave it on 30 to 1 hour. So I have all my um, yolk right here. You just gonna mix it around a little more. And what we'll do is we'll apply this on our face. Like this. Mm. Yep. Applying it on your face. Now what egg yolk does for this um, face mask is it tightens your pores. If you have really big pores, then this would definitely help. It won't help all the way, but it will help. So I will actually do this once or twice a week, and my pores look so much better. So this is what you guys do. Okay? So just, you don't need to rub it in totally, just like gently put it into, onto your skin. And again, guys, always avoid, whenever doing any of these hair masks, I mean, not hair masks, facial masks or any of this kind of stuff, you always want to avoid your gentle eye area. So you just, put on, look, my face is getting all yellow. Hmm. Like this. And later, you're going to leave this on for about 15 to 30 minutes, longer if you want, or just until the mask dries. You guys can tell later. Later the mask will like kind of tighten up and like your face can't move or you can't smile and that means that the mask is done and you can just wash it off with lukewarm water. Okay so after you finish applying it just like this. Remember guys wash your hands with soap and warm water because you don't know what's going to eat like salmonella or that stuff. And then you guys are probably like if there's salmonella, why are you putting it on your face? Because that's okay. Cause on your face is okay, but you're not going to eat it. That's why. So, mm, scary. So, I'll get, I'll get back to you guys in about like 30 minutes when this is done. I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, bye. Oh, still recording. Is it? It is. How do I pause this? Hold on, you guys. Why? Right. How do I pause this? Um.